right, today we are going to attempt to give our wood stove a $7 facelift from its old late 80s look to something a little more modern, a little more farmhouse. So take a look. All right, so we're gonna try. Let me show you this again. So this is uh, an ugly gold, and um, obviously this went out of style about 25 years ago, if not longer. So we're gonna try to update this to a white. Um, right now, I'm right on that border of it being 50 degrees. I am in the sun. You shouldn't do this under 50. So I'm leaving my paint inside the uh, house until I'm ready to paint. So we've got a little bit of work to do to prep this up. That's going to start by taking the glass out. this little gasket around your glass obviously you want to clean that up a little bit but you don't want to pull it off or or fray it in any way so you can see on the door this section probably should be replaced soon as well I should pick up something to, to put in there but um, right now we're gonna try to keep all of this in decent shape if it does come off, it slides back on there. Just take good care of it. Otherwise, you will have to replace it. I think it's pretty important. <clears throat> Taking out this guy, which we're going to spray as well. Might as well just spray that, huh? Okay, so here's the front of our door. This is our main target. Taped up this little guy. I'm going to leave him black with the silver here. That's going to go fine with the white. We're just going to take uh, this is a 12 or that's a 1500. This might be a little too fine. I had 1200 in my hand. Don't know what happened. Let me see if I can score this up okay. Yeah, that's scoring. That'll be fine. So we're just going to lightly go over this because it is so glossy. I want to make sure we adhere to it okay. You could use an 800 or a 1200 for this as well. 1500 is probably on the top end. So I did my 60 second shake on this. This is the high heat Rust-Oleum. Um, this will work up to 1200 degrees. You can't put it on the inside of your stove with direct flame contact, um, but anything that doesn't have direct flame contact that is exposed to high heat, this should be fine on. We're gonna see how a single coat works.
says, I believe. Let me see here for you all. Um, painting dry, um, one to two hours. Uh, at least an hour before heating and then a half hour to handle before you're going to leave fingerprints and blemishes on it. So with this product here, that's pretty darn fast. May uh, recoat within one hour or after 48 hours. Okay, so that's an important part here with this. I'm going to have to spray it. I'm going to let it dry then for just 15 minutes and I'm going to hit it again with a second coat. So you either have to do it pretty pretty fast or you're gonna have to uh, wait after two days in order to uh, apply a second coat. Okay, it's been about 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and give this another coat. There's some few blemishes here on the side we're gonna try to knock out. All right, I'm pretty happy with it. I think, let me get out of the sun here. I don't see anything that is readily apparent as being an uneven mark. A Little bit on here where the uh, bolts go in and out, um, but that's about it. We're gonna stand these guys up and hit these as well before I forget to do that. And we did sand the top of these, so. We'll see how it holds. These are very glossy on top, just a lot of a lot of wear. These will probably take three or four coats on that top nodule. Okay, we'll let those dry. All right, there it is, fully assembled. We are pretty happy with it. I think it looks looks pretty good. We are gonna have to wait and see how it cleans up because it's obviously gonna get a little bit dirty and uh, hopefully we can just clean this pretty easily with the rag, but uh, time will tell on that.